Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina coming at you with another video where we investigate this time a famous person's chart and their very successful year. So before we get started, my channel is full of videos on astrology, cards of truth, which is a method of card reading and also human design. So you can subscribe and you can check out the other videos. I also have a website, carminadeshanza.com. So last week I saw the movie Joker and it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Like Joaquin Phoenix is such an amazing performer. He really embodied the character well. I really liked the the imagery, the, the colors, and you know, the way the shots were filmed, like taking you like deep into the person's soul, and also the costumes. I really enjoyed this movie. It's really an intense psychological thriller, and it's like an origin story. So I, I thought that because of this movie and because of its well-deserved box office success, we would take a look at Joaquin Phoenix's year in the light of his success and also in the light of other personal things that happened this year. And we're going to see how that reflects in this card reading method that is called Cards of Truth. Okay, so here you go. This is my screen. I know it looks very intimidating because you see everything, but you just have to focus on this at first. This is the like a person's natal chart. It's their card spread. So Joaquin was born at 2.55 a.m. So his birth card, because he's born before sunrise and not after, is the Eight of Hearts, okay? If he were born after sunrise, he would be the Seven of Hearts, but no, he's the Eight of Hearts. At the moment, he's 45. So what does 45 mean for a person? You're right in the middle of your node maturation. 45 is an age you know, quite in the middle of the nodal axis maturation. So the North Node, where a person is going, where a person has to dare, where a person has to do things differently, that happens around 42. And the South Node maturation, when the person comes to grips with the inheritance they have from their, you know, their DNA, their ancestors, their past lives, or even, you know, their family, their exact family, you know, what's happening in uh, their natal home. The fruits of that will be given at around 47. So you can see how 45 is an age right between that. So 45 is also a very important age in Cards of Truth. Joaquin's birthday was quite recently celebrated his birthday on the 28th of October. At age 45 in the Cards of Truth system, you have like a reset. So you have your natal spread reappearing again. So it's like a refresh of your life. It's like, I'm not gonna say a midlife crisis, but a new start for everyone, men, women. That's the age 45 in this Cards of Truth system. So if we look at his age 45 spread, I'm just gonna close this to make it less confusing. If we look at the age 45, we see that there is a reinforcement of all his natal placements. His ecliptic card, so that his path in this life is a 10 of spades. That's a path of very hard work. It's hard work, but it's mostly inner work, which is the most difficult kind of work. And at the 10, you reap the rewards of that work. So everything you've done for your health, everything you know that you've worked for, so that you're a psychologically sound person, that kind of bears fruit with the 10 of spades in mind. And because he, Joaquin, has this 10 of spades in his natal, spread he's been always preoccupied with health and also with health but really being good with himself he had his share of trials he had his you know his uh, sibling his brother died like virtually he saw him die because he was the one who called the ambulance and he his brother was taken there unconscious 
he had a very exotic childhood. His parents were member of a cult, so they traveled from you know South America to other places. So he had a quite interesting upbringing. And then he is a um, he says he has been a vegan since age three. He is a PETA spokesperson. He takes uh, part in marches for the animals. So he's really, you know, a very active person and a very active person in showing who he is at the same time. And um, I think what's interesting at this age 45, it just began for him on the 28th of August, is that we see some we see success for him we see appreciation his movie is really his performance as an actor is really being validated by society that's the six of clubs right and then we also see turn one year back at age 44 this year in 2019 around may he got engaged he got engaged to his girlfriend and um, we see that very well from his chart because in his natal chart, this queen of hearts has the moon, right? The moon is his spouse planet because it's the planet with the lowest number of degrees between the first seven. So that's his spouse planet in this card. It's going to make it a spouse factor. Then he also has Venus in this card and Venus, we know that for uh, people attracted to women, Venus is also a spouse factor. And he had that queen of hearts around the time when he got engaged. See, that card was running between April and end of May this year. And he, his uh, girlfriend, fiance, was spotted with a diamond ring for the first time around that time. So something significant happened regarding his love life and i predict that he's gonna even get married this coming year in 2020 because i see this card coming up again we're gonna get back to that so he was cast for the movie in july 2018 and you can see that that time period so between the 25th of may and the 16th of july 2018 it was a 10 of spades the 10 of spades that i was saying it's his natal path right so the path of hard work and a path of you know reaping the rewards after a lot of physical and psychological effort so that's when he got cast for the role he was actually a person that i think he was the first actor to get cast for it like he was in talks around you know february already but he got cast around july and the rest of the cast uh, got there around august and the filming of this movie, The Joker, took place between September and December 2018. And you can see that in September 2018, he was running an ace of clubs, like doing something that will have, you know, an impact for a while because it's a semi-fixed card. So it's not a short-term card. It's a card that, you know, it will have its effects for a longer time. And that is also his North Node card. So you see that by doing, you know, having this more controversial role, because the North Node is always something controversial. It's something different. And this movie, The Joker, attracted a lot of controversy because of the way, you know, also the way that the story was told to make, I'm not going to do spoilers, okay? But if you go see it, you will see that because of the political, undertones actually it was very direct political ideas and also because of the way this you know origin story the evolution of the person how he becomes a joker that's very you know that's a very rahu very north node very rebellious type of thing so i think it's wonderful how you can see that all happening here how you can see the beginning of that with the ace of clubs and i'm also gonna say that this year at age 45 of course if he has his natal spread all over again he's gonna have again this pluto 
in the ace of spades so this ace of spades is going deep in the well of the being and finding water or finding something else because the pluto is there the transformation will be different than you thought so you thought that you would go inward to find yourself to find some deep hidden truth about yourself and you will but it's going to be totally different and it's going to shock you so i'm sure that age 45 so until his next birthday it's going to be quite shocking and revelating and it's going to change the way he saw himself the way he looked at himself as a person i know that he is a person that went back and forth with the acting career. He took a long break, he wanted to give it up and then he came back to it. So it's something that, you know, the um, it's something that is a bit disappointing to him and I'm going to tell you why. Like his public image, not necessarily the acting itself, but the way that people see him. And that's because his south node is on this 10 of clubs. So that like the, the rewards of his career. And also it's with the 10th cusp, which is the great deeds we are known for in the world. But the north node isn't with the fourth cusp. So the north node will pull him more inward, like to spend more time at home, to make his home look pretty, to you know be have like a more domestic life but also the fourth is is also taking care of your heart right his birth card is the eight of hearts so he really has to you know take care of the heart to go beyond that validation that people give him and just like things and like himself and love himself just because of himself and just beyond that validation. So that North Node in the fourth also has this connotation of peace of mind, like finding some peace with yourself and finding some stability with that peace because his North Node is in Capricorn. So having like an established, a structured, a disciplined peace of heart, right? Yeah, so. I'm not surprised if he's going to get an Oscar because I see this 10 of clubs this year for him with the 10th cast. But I remember, was it him or Keanu Reeves that said that Oscars suck, that he doesn't care about Oscars, you know? I don't think he really cares because of that South Node in the 10th house, that validation from the people for his deeds, it's okay, it's good, but that's not gonna ultimately make him happy. What makes him happy is like more like a, a homey life and just being at peace with himself, which is maybe weird for a Hollywood celebrity, but that's how it is, especially also with this Pluto in a spade card and the 10 of spades ecliptic. And all that is gonna, he's gonna have a lot of reassessing his priorities resetting his priorities this year yeah so if you haven't watched the joker and you want to watch it go watch it in cinema it's nicer to see it that on the small screen check out my other videos that are around here subscribe give a thumbs up to the video it really helps the channel grow and i'll see you soon with more videos bye